Hello YouTube, Ranger Reno here. I wanted to have a quick chat about a concept I've been considering called 50 Shades of Red. You know, I've been called redneck before. It's not such a bad thing. A lot of people would take that as a compliment. Nothing wrong with being a redneck. But is there one shade of red neck? Well, think about the color red. There's fire engine red, cherry red, apple red, ruby red, etc. Now I'd like to propose to you that there's that many different shades of red neck as well. You've got your deep dark red that is really on that side of redneckism. That's right, new word, redneckism. You got a guy that sits in the middle. You got a guy on the top end of the spectrum. I'm gonna call them the deep dark red, the maroon red. The guy in the middle, the tomato red. The guy on the other end of the spectrum, the Ferrari red. Different shades of red. Now, is there some red here? Sure there is. Like I say, I've been called a redneck before. Proud of it, no problem, hey. Let's roll with it. So as you go through these shades of red, let's give some examples. So, a man wants to go out camping and take in a little bit of the outdoors, right? It's kind of a redneck thing. Maroon red would probably sleep in the back of his pickup truck with his dog. Might have some screens, might not even have a topper. He'd listen to the frogs chirping at night and crickets and things like that. Maybe have a little campfire, maybe even roast something to eat that night. Maroon red. Tomato red. Probably hooks up his uh, F-250 Super Duty to his camper, takes it to a campground where he's got electricity. He can pop some microwave popcorn and watch TV that night and uh, maybe even turn the heat on or air conditioning for that matter. Now the Ferrari red neck would probably go to his 8,000 square foot mansion on the lake and he has a TV in every room with satellite dish to feed it. He's got, you know, the big commercial duty range and a uh, bunch of sub-zero uh, appliances in the kitchen. There's three different shades of red. Maroon, tomato, Ferrari. So what about, uh, you know, let's say the way they travel by water. The maroon red, I'd suggest, has an old Alumacraft or you know, Grumman canoe that's aluminum. It's beat up, it's faded, it's got dents in it from bounce off a few rocks. The paddles are worn, the varnish is missing. Might even have a piece of duct tape around them to hold them together at the end where the paddle splits sometimes. That'd be a maroon. Tomato, well, he'd have a 14-foot boat, maybe a 16 pull it on a trailer behind his camper, or behind his super duty. His, her, right? I'm not trying to diss anybody, I'm just trying to explore the shades of red. Now, the Ferrari red would most likely have a boat hoist at the mansion on the lake with a, you know, $80,000 bass boat on it. Lower it from the hoist and uh, uh, he may not even know how to hook up a night crawler, but he's a red and he wants to get out into the creation and the outdoors. That's what it's all about. So let's give one last example. I was uh, having breakfast with my friend Gordy the other day. And we were talking and uh, we, he showed us his old van and stuff he had and he struck me as maroon red at that point when he said, Oh yeah, there's a couple of lights on the dash that keep coming on, like check engine and that kind of thing. He says, it bothers my eyes at night when I'm driving, so I put a little duct tape over them. <laughs> that sounds like maroon red to me. Now the tomato red, uh, he'd, he'd be well versed on the idiot lights on the dash. Well, he wouldn't put tape over them. He'd have his 
nice new Super Duty and be in there to the mechanic right away, have it checked out and fixed immediately and uh, reference his owner's manual and go from there. The Ferrari Red, on the other hand, would probably have uh, several new vehicles to choose from. Uh, park the one where the light comes on the dash, maybe says check engine or whatever, and he just switch up to the from the Chevy to the Ford. Yeah, you know, change trucks like most of us change socks. So the, you know, it's still a redneck though. So think about it. Uh, I'm, I'm wide open to suggestion. I'd take comments in the comments section. If you've got ideas of different shades of red, I'll call it 50 shades of red neckism. So uh, think about that. Nothing wrong with being a redneck. Nothing wrong with any end of the spectrum or anything in between. It's all good stuff. Get out there and enjoy it. Keep things simple. Live it large, live it full. There you have it. Ranger Reno, over and out. God bless.